Hi everyone, I'm Claudia Russo of Lunsa University and I'm glad to present our research entitled How Parent Socialization Values and Their Perception of Children Values Guide Parenting Styles During the Session Value Development Through Childhood and Adolescence, The Impact of Personality, Parenting and Language. The research has been carried out in collaboration with Daniela Barni, Ioana Zagran and Francesca Lagnoni. The present study aims to respond to a relevant research question that is, are fathers and mothers' socialization values and their perception of adolescent children's values related to their parenting style? If so, how? So we put values within the parent-child relationship. According to Schwartz's theory of basic human values, we analyze four value dimensions that are conservation, openness to change, self-transcendence, and self-enhancement. Parents hold their personal values, which serve as guiding principles in their lives. But they are different from their socialization values, namely those values parents would like their children to endorse and from their perception of children's personal values, which refers to how parents perceive the value their children endorse. Socialization values are different from the parents' personal values because parents may be aware that what is good for them might differ, differ from what is desirable for, from, for their children. For example, this could happen because the parents recognize that their children are growing up in a social context which differs from the one in which they themselves were reared. Previous research pointed out that both socialization values and the perception of children values play a significant role in the parent-child relationship, especially in the case of adolescent children, because adolescent children assume a more active role in value transmission and internalization processes. Surprisingly, to the best of our knowledge, no studies have examined their relationship with the parenting style. Well, as you know, there are several theories on parenting styles and many uh, individual and relational factors have been analyzed as a predictors of parenting. However, a specific attention on values is missing. According to Part Theory, children need a positive responses from parents in, ter in terms of parental acceptance and parental control that guide them in their daily lives. Parental acceptance is the positive extreme of the warmth dimension, while the rejection anchors the other end of this dimension. Parental acceptance is marked by love, support, comfort, and all the positive expression of caring. On the other side, parental control refers to how parents place restrictions or limits on children's behavior and the extent to which these restrictions are enforced. Parental controls could be also conceptualized as a bipolar dimension in which parental permissiveness anchors one end of this dimension and parental per restrictiveness anchors the other one. Thus, the main aim of the present study was to analyze the association among parents' socialization values, their perception of children's values, and both the warmth and control dimensions. In doing so, we involved both fathers and mothers and took into account the interdependence of data. 339 married couples participated in the study, for a total of 678 participants. All these couples had at least one adolescent child. Participants were asked to fill in a questionnaire in which we used the portrait value questionnaire short form to assess both the socialization values and the parents' perception of their adolescent children values. To measure socialization values, we asked parents to rate the extent to which they would like their child to respond to each item. In the second case, we ask participants to rate how much they perceive their child to be like the person described. Moreover, to assess the parenting style, we use the subscale of warmth and control from the parental acceptance rejection control questionnaire. All the measures show a good internal consistency for both fathers and mothers.
After describing the data and performing the omnibus test of disting distinguishability, we performed the actor-partner interdependence model to analyze the association among parents' values and parent uh, parenting styles, also controlling for adolescent sex. APIM allowed to distinguish the actor and the partner effect. The first one, namely the actor effect, is the effect of a parent's values on his air warmth and control. In contrast, the partner effect is the effect of a parent's values on his or her partner's warmth and control. Taking a look at the results, we can notice that there is an equal value hierarchy for um, the desired child and the perceived one. Parents would like a child uh, who gives more importance to self-transcendence values and less importance to self enhancement values. This is the Appian Path diagram. The blue arrows indicated the actor effect, while the red arrows indicated the partner effect. In this slide, we summarize the significant APIM effect. Parent socialization values and perception of child values explain a larger, a larger portion of variance in the case of warm rather than control for both fathers and mothers. Socialization values are overall more related to parenting style than a parent's perception of child values. We can notice more actor effect rather than partner effect, mainly involving self-transcendence and self-enhancement values. However, two partner effect rise, one on fathers and one on for mothers, involving conservation values. So to reply to our research question, yes, both for parent socialization values and their perception of adolescent children values are related to parenting style, even if socialization values play a stronger role than the perceived values. It's interesting to note that the socialization values, to some extent, represent uh, the educational goals that parents would like to achieve with their children. Therefore, it's the desired child more than the perceived one to guide fathers and mothers' parenting styles. Moreover, there is a stronger actor effect compared to parent eff partner effect. That is, parenting st style mainly depends on oneself and uh, rather than on partner. However, partner effect arise in the case of conservation values. Conservation is a value dimension that has a strong impact on uh, couple relationships because it uh, involves aspects such as religion, political orientation, view of marriage, and we can add the view of parenting. It is so pervasive to be the only value to affect the partner parenting dimensions warmth in the case of fathers and control in the case of mother. Interestingly, these are the parenting dimension less socially defined, respectively for fathers and mothers, against which the, the partner uh, effect is strongest. These findings lead to the possibility of developing and strengthening parenting value-based intervention where both parents are involved to increase their awareness of their mutual influence and the importance of their socialization values. In this kind of intervention, it would be helpful to point out the importance of one's own and uh, partner's conservation values, the role of self-transcendence values in promoting authoritative parenting styles, especially for mothers, and finally to highlight that self-enhancement values that promote independence on children, in children may sometimes lead to a laissez-faire parental approach. So, future studies should adapt a longitudinal design in order to draw causal relations. They should assume a cross-cultural perspective and they should control for parents and children personal values. Finally, it would be desirable to keep on to consider the interdependence of family relationships. 
To sum up, the take-home message is to keep on studying the value, uh, keep on studying values in close relationship processes to better understand and support educational practices. It would be amazing to do it in a cross-cultural perspective. Thank you for your attention and please don't hesitate to contact me for any question. Enjoy the conference.